Hi all, happy new year. I'm coming to you with my awe moment so far of 2021. So I was doing new year's cards this week. I didn't get a Christmas card out. I missed the boat on that. So I'm doing new year's cards. But as I, you do Christmas cards, you listen to Christmas music, you're still thinking about all the stuff you still have to do before Christmas. A new year's card, it was silent. Um, there wasn't Christmas music, I wasn't distracted, so I started to think, okay, let's think positively, let's think optimistically about what were the good things in 2020. You know, we started, um, I started a new biz, um, I started to circulate myself with a different group of people, um, and started to feel empowered again, um, to find that success that I was looking for outside of the home. I didn't set my expectations high, um, but there were little things I wanted to start to do for myself and to get me back into that feeling of what I felt like who it was me when I was in corporate America, but with all, all, the, all, all the other stuff. So that happens, then we go into, oh, homeschooling, and then we're stuck at home. Um, and it, it trickled, and there were some really bad vibes everybody got very i did for a little while depressed and we we went inward and it was was just a hard year but month in and month out we came out of it we still went on a couple of vacations um things look totally different but we were trying to make the best of it that we can but the the odd moment that i was thinking okay what's one moment that i can look back and go wow so i went into that biz thinking about success and where I could put myself again and, and how I could have a little bit of, of me time. And it was my, my kids that were seeing what I was doing in my office and the goals that I had set for myself and my vision board and that sort of thing and expectations. And they became my best cheerleader. Mom, you can do this. Mom, you got this. Mom, you're going to qualify again for the next month for a trip. And they were so positive, so influential. Okay. I'm looking to influence other people and my success comes from my kids. And it was like, wow, I'm so proud of them. Like the best job, the best success that I still have in life are my kids. They're amazing. McKenna is wise beyond her years and she wants to help me so much. She wants to start her own business. And I look at that confidence. Wow. I was really confident. I had all of that in my twenties and my thirties and before. You know, I had multiple jobs when I was in college. Like, I was just a go-getter. And you become a mom, and you step back because you're supposed to. You take care of your kids. But then I had this glimpse once Zachary went back, when he went into kindergarten, I've got some, I've got some time. So let's bring it back full circle. But that moment, it wasn't about any money that I could make. It wasn't about, I had, it was about them. The success comes back to them. And I started thinking more about 2020 and I looked at my next play because the next play is a frame. We keep it in the living room and I can upload pictures, favorites, if you will, from your phone and then they go right to the next play and then they just display, um, which is amazing. It's also another place for me to keep pictures in case something happens and I don't lose everything, which is one of my worst fears. Um, but I'm looking at it and I look back at 2019 and I've got my total number of pictures and then I looked at 2020. What do you know? Same amount of pictures. 2020 was a train wreck, but we changed things up and still had as many memorable memories as the year before. Another odd moment. It was like, okay, things look different. They didn't get to see grandparents at that much or at all, unfortunately, those that live further north. And they didn't get the Easter Bunny and they didn't get to sit on Santa's lap and they missed the fair tremendously and all the other things that are traditions that we couldn't do. We did something different. We bought a property this year, you know, and if you ask them, oh, they were disappointments with all those things, but we made just as many positive memories. We bought a property. We were outside more. We went on more walks. We were together as a family. Bill was home. If you ask the kids, they'll tell you, it's the year that I get to spend more time with family. It's the year that Zachary said, I didn't have to miss you mom because you were my teacher. It's the year that we became closer and they continued to grow. Looking through kids' eyes and seeing things so much more simplistic simplistically <laughs> is way better than all the other drama. Like, at least me, I can get caught up in my head and start thinking about things and it just doesn't go away and it almost paralyzes me, not physically, but mentally, to keep moving and keep doing things. You get caught up and then you have an awe moment and then you get moving again. Us as women, I think we just think too much. 
but when you look at it through kids, and I get this is a chapter, looking through teenagers' eyes probably isn't gonna be the same. But for my kids, it's six and eight. Like they they can put the positive spin on things. They find it. They find the joy. And let's let's be honest. We're not getting our days back. It was an entire year practically last year, and now we're not rolling into 2021 so much better. And there are more fears that are coming. But I want to continue to look at the positive because my kids are continuing to grow and I want to make sure that they are ready for this world. God hope it changes by then, but they have to still grow and they still have to implement, we have to implement those values into them that we want them. I was so proud of them to be proud of me. And that was the success of the year. Like it's just that simple. Like when I thought I was going in to do something else, washed out in a different way. 2021, I have different expectations and I have different goals for myself. Um, and I look forward to it. And I just wanted to share because I really do have an awe moment with the kids and we really should start to spin things on the positive versus the negative because we will just drown ourselves in the days and we don't get them back. So wishing you an awesome day. Thanks guys, talk to you soon, bye.